My name is Matthew Hollihan, and I'll be giving a Science Cafe talk this coming Wednesday, January 18th, and it will be on concussions, so not necessarily on Sidney Crosby himself, but what is the ultimate impact of experiencing a concussion and what happens to the brain and what happens in the long term to the brain. So something that often looks like Alzheimer's disease when you actually look at a brain, a postmortem brain after a concussion. So when a concussion happens in, let's say, a hockey player, oftentimes that player is taken off the ice and they're given a little rest period and they're assessed. And then whether that assessment is good, has a positive outcome or not, then it will determine if that player goes back onto the ice. And typically, those assessments, they will often see that the player seems to be fine. So either the player is faking it or he's actually okay. But what often is the case and what we've been noticing more and more is that the brain is not okay. So even though the person doesn't have any overt signs of having a concussion so that they, are, they can remember what's happened, they have good balance, they have all these other clinical symptoms that have subsided, their brain is still undergoing a lot of changes. And this is the time where you want to give that player a rest, so you want to make sure that they have plenty of rest, that they're not experiencing any you know, cognitive load or getting too much stimulation uh, to help their brain recover. Because what we're seeing is that the brain is still undergoing its repair systems. It's still damaged after a concussion, again, even if the person doesn't show any overt signs. So what we want to do is let that brain recover, let that brain heal itself. And if that doesn't happen, then ultimately what might happen is you'll have a brain that starts to look like an Alzheimer's patient brain. So this is what I'll be talking about at my Science Cafe talk on Wednesday, January 18th, and I hope to see you there.